Hey, uh, it's Cancer Size with Renee B. Uh, my husband kept on me today. He's like, hey, have you done your video yet? Have you done your video yet? I'm like, no, I'll get there. It's on my to-do list, so it's all good. So, uh, digging my shirt. It's one of my Zumba shirts that I love the saying on. It says, carpe the hell out of this DM, meaning seize the hell out of this day. So that's what we're going to do. So today we're going to work on uh, upper body stuff with weights. So if you have two different sets of weights, go for it, a small and a heavy, or just stick to small. And if you're still like recovering from surgery or whatever, and you don't have your strength back, you can just do body resistance and just concentrate on contracting those muscles. So we're just going to um, do a couple little stretches here to kind of stretch these muscles up a little, warm them out. Wow, stretch them out and warm them up. Uh, I'm still fighting like allergy type thing going on. So my head's all congested and my chest is congested, but uh, I go get blood draws tomorrow. So we'll see if the medication is working and where my platelet count is at. If I have to do one of those shots to um, boost them up. So spin some circles here. And, uh, and now back. This is an old school, uh, very old school <laughs> move. Oh goodness. Okay, now bigger forward. So anyway, so we'll find out and hopefully the medicines are doing their job and they're killing all those little rogue cancer cells and uh, hopefully I will start. It's just going to take me longer to get over these allergies and stuff and just is, is what it is, but you do what you got to do, right? For the greater good and we're doing what we got to do to take care of ourselves. And with the help of modern medicine, you know, some very smart people out there that have studied this stuff for a long time. It's, it's come so far. And, uh, you know, I, yep, yeah, for the greater good. It sucks right now. <sighs> but one day, we'll have our lives back. And we're going to have a new appreciation because we realize that we really are stronger and that life really is short and all the stuff that you kept putting off, you're not going to put off anymore and you're going to laugh more and you're going to love more and you're going to seek more good and do more good in the world, right? Because you are stronger and we are going to beat it. So we're going to start with, I want you to start with your heavier weights. And this is going to be challenging, and then halfway through, we're going to put them down and pick up the lighter weights, okay? So, pick up your heavier weights. Mine today are eight pounds, and we're going to do that simple little side stretch. Woo! Good times. I'm feeling this from... Uh, some of that core work we did the other day. Okay, now switch as quickly as you can to the lighter weights. Now they seem super easy. We're still stretching and working. We're just building up a little bit here. Okay. Okay, and down. Now we're gonna pick up those heavy weights again. And we're going to do shoulder press. Remember, you bend your knees when you're picking up those weights. Always bend your knees when you're picking up those weights. You don't want to bend over incorrectly and pull your back. Okay? Now, this is going to be hard, so we're not going to do quite as many. But you're going to come up. Make sure, you know, that your elbows are out straight. Don't squeeze your weights too hard. And we're just going to push up and breathe out. Abs in. Wow, this is challenging. Three, whew, four, get rid of one more, and then we're going to switch. So switch quickly to those light weights. Okay, again, bend your knees. Use proper form even picking up. Now, here we go. One. See, now these feel like nothing, huh? Two, three, four, five. 
Ooh, okay, great. Good form, good job, guys. Remember, just pay attention to your form. If you're holding your abs in, sucking that belly button back toward your spine, that's actually strengthening your back and stabilizing you, so it's actually keeps you from injuring your back. Knees slightly bent, you know, because you don't want to hyperextend anything or pull anything. Okay, so now we're going to do some bicep curls. Um, and we're going to do the ones where we cross over like this, okay? So we're going to start like with the heavy weights, and then we're going to switch out and go to the light weights. So bend your knees, pop a form, picking up. This is going to be challenging if you got heavy weights. Breathe. Make sure you're hydrating too. They told you how that water helps get everything pushed through. One more set, here we go. Now we're gonna switch, what we're gonna do? Switch to the smaller weights. Yes, ready? Ha, ah, if you can transition as quick as possible, that makes it a little more challenging. If you can't, no problem. If you can't do the heavy weights yet, that's no problem. Try a one pound weight, it doesn't matter. You're getting that resistance in, you're getting your workout in one way or the other. You're doing something good and positive for you. You are making yourself stronger, both mentally and physically, because we need to work on the mental part, because boy, having that cancer diagnosis really <sighs> blows your mind, doesn't it? Just blows your mind, and then it plays a number on you, and it attacks you, and all your emotions, besides attacking your body, and then people don't know how to talk to you anymore, because now you have cancer, and they're not sure what to do, they don't even think you can wipe your own butt anymore, you know, so it's true. They want to do everything for you. And the reality is, is you can still do things. Um, and you need to be able to do things. They need to let you be human and do stuff and not feel like you're helpless. But mentally, it just does that to you mentally. And it does that to all your friends and family and stuff. And they just mentally, it's just an ugly word, ugly word. But it's all right, because we're stronger, right? You are stronger than the stupid word. Okay. Heavy weights, we're gonna do, I don't know what we're gonna do. I didn't write anything, I didn't plan anything. So <laughs> let's do hammer curls, cause I like those too. So feet, hip width, hip distance apart. You know what I'm saying. Okay, hands pointing. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, you feel this with those heavier weights. Slow and steady. Don't grip the weight too hard, but don't Drop it on your toe either. <sighs> Elbows kind of tucked in by your side. We do one more and then we're gonna switch it out. Here we go, same movement. Yeah, and then you pick up the lighter weights and you feel like you're doing nothing, huh? <sighs> One more. All right, put those down. Okay, so now we're gonna do an overhead tricep thing, okay? Um, if you're using heavy weights, I only want you to use one. I don't want you to put both in your hands. I want one so you can hold it together. You wanna make sure your elbows are up by your ears. And this is tricky, because uh, today my lymphedema was acting up and I can feel it. Uh, I wore a sleeve today and that helped a lot, but I took it off and now I can feel it building back up in there <laughs> so but then you straighten out you don't want to pop your elbows but you definitely want to straighten them okay that's two abs in and breathe three four five six seven eight we're gonna ten nine Ten, switch it out, switch it out, lower, lighter weight. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ooh, ten. All right, great, okay, let's see what time we have.
Oh, I got time. I can do one more here. Let's see. Let's do, oh, goodness. Let's do a, okay, we're going to do a punch. We're going to twist. And we did this before, remember? So you're going to punch out. Head follows your arm. It's harder, harder to maintain good form with these heavier weights, okay? So you're going to twist and pivot and look over that way where you're punching. You ready? Here we go. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, switch. Use good form, bend those knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do one more. 11, 12, woo! Okay, all right, that felt good. Um, let's see, let's do, you can tell I'm just totally winging it, and actually, honestly, every day I just wing it. Sometimes I just have the four cents to write it down, so I remember what I'm doing. Um, so, oh, now we're going to do these. Bend your knees, pick up your heavy weights. This is going to be another challenging one, okay? Remember this one? Okay. One, two. Relax those shoulders. Three. Abs in. Four. Breathe. Five. Woo. Six. Seven. Oh my goodness. Eight. Switch them out. Okay. One. And squeeze those back bones together. Three. Four. <laughs> five. Six, seven, eight, oh my goodness, nine, ten, yay, okay, I think we're superstars, and we uh, carpet the hell out of this DM workout, right, I don't know, uh, I'm hopped up on allergy meds, so <laughs> whatever, <laughs> Struggling, I'm catching my breath. Uh, yay, spring. So, all right. So, let's uh, stretch it back out. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm going to run out of time because I talk too much. Stretch it out. Overhead. Work in the way the shadows are casting. Back behind. Ooh. Stretch that chest out. Ooh. Roll those shoulders. And forward then. Oh, one of my still one of my favorites. And breathe. Ooh. Okay. All right, so uh, that's going to do it for today. Um, yeah, so my heart tracing because uh, weights still do some cardio for you. Do it twice if you want. If you can't do the heavier weights, don't stress yourself out of it, okay? Just do what you can do and give it a shot and try. If you're only holding soup cans because that's all you have, that's more than what you did yesterday, right? And that's what matters because you are stronger we're gonna beat this damn thing and we're gonna show it who's boss. I'll see you guys when I see you again.